You've spawned the pizza. You've now been deported. <laughs> so yes, sorry, sorry, I made. Actually, did you make this one, or did somebody else make? Uh, I I made this one. Yeah, you, you made you made cool particles. Shoot them so the camera can see better how they move around. Yes, this is pretty cool. So, uh, is there like a? Can you get like a wider view or something? I like uh like a view of like over here, like on the floor. Yeah, let me. Uh. You know what, I'm, okay. I'm gonna be cameraman, I'm just gonna go like, you know... Yeah, I used, uh, I used the, the, the new particle oh, system to... How oh, does for to make... you? <laughs> I used the new particle system to make like a confetti gun, so now I can be like, Wee! And they all like great. flutter down, and oh. I can like shoot them and stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me make it, there we go. Is it really cool? It looks so pretty. You know what's yeah. funny, it's like, um... What's really funny about oh, what's really funny about this one is like when you shot it, like I thought I was lagging, but it's just the particles, like, and I think like uh, the collisions in this world, like for some reason, like kill the particle system a fair bit. Uh, but like you know, I'm still running relatively smooth, and the particles are just kind of going lower, and like you know, they're handling all these collisions. But you actually, you actually did like a. Uh, I'm just gonna be running around and shoot the particles. We. We... Oh gosh! Yeah, like a oh, oh my god, that's so many, and I'm still like you know like I'm not dying. <laughs> really? That's one of the cool things I like about the system. It's just general approach. And this is the general approach, like you know, we cannot use for design like, our system is making them asynchronous. So like, if the system itself is chugging, it's just the system itself. Like you, you it's not gonna make you chug at least not nearly as much as you would have. Um, I actually have another pretty neat one that I that I made. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Is this one? Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. I, this that's is, so glowy. This is what inspired the confetti was this glowy one. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, people have been I making like a lot of cool stuff like with the particle systems. Let me just adjust the camera. There we go. The, the turbulence really makes it feel like when I shoot them like near the ground, it's almost like, yeah, that's it's like so windy. Pretty. It just goes... <laughs> Oh, there's a I, have a, I have a really, really, really neat one. I think that would be really cool to show, actually. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, I'm gonna make the moon really big. I'm gonna put it out there. Hold on. Okay, and then I'll. Uh, let me switch this movie over. There we go. I'll spawn this one. So, this one is is pretty cool because the particles will. Uh, they have a really high exit velocity, but they have they have negative drag, and they have a really low bounce ratio. So when they hit something, they'll go, they'll hit it slowly and then speed up again. So oh. when I shoot at the moon, watch this. Oh, that's oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Woo! <laughs> that's like very, light speed. Oh my god. It's like we're going to warp or something. I really like this. Yeah. I shoot it like inside. I'm curious. I don't want to follow you. <laughs> I shoot it like in here. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Oh. What? Whoa. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> that is so yeah, cool. Yeah, I've, uh, I've lost all my productivity to this particle system. It's it's so cool. Called. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. We should like showcase these. Like like this, like these are the effects that like they would not be possible before. Yeah, like they're just oh, it's so cool. Yeah, that is okay. super neat. I really like this. Yeah, there's like I've, I've been like watching some stuff like people have been posting on like you know. Oh my god, this one's insane. Meow. Like we're like Whoa! this. All, oh, this is cool. There's all these like new things that are like super. Neat. Oh my god. So fucking neat. Like, there's one of the things I always like. Whenever, whenever like you know, like add something new, I always like look forward to like all the crazy stuff people are gonna make with it. And like I've been seeing some stuff you know people are posting on social media too, and those are like, um, like, you know. Those are super neat. Like people, people have been making all kinds of like super neat things. That's like the one, the ripple one. I don't think I have it saved, but the, the one that the orange posted as well. 
Like where yeah. you kind of like walk around. I think it's actually published for all. Yeah. So crazy. Ah, you spray the chat. <laughs> Yay. I don't like particle. Like particle systems, like they like one of my kind of favorite things because it's like it's very simple in like principle. But like you can do so many things with just tweaking a bunch of parameters. Like you can do such a wide variety of effects, and now because we have full control of it, you can add you know more things, and people like, <laughs> can make like you know all kinds of like, cool effects that like couldn't do before. It's uh, it's 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 I'm very excited. It's so, like technically, cool. technically it's not you know like we're sort of kind of mark it as experimental because like the some of the conversions not working right, um, but kind of like. One of the reasons, like, when I put in systems so people can start, you know, messing around with it and making really neat things, it's so pretty. You actually, uh, <laughs> you, you, could you talk about, like, because you, you mentioned, uh, let me just switch the camera back to the normal one here, there we go. Uh, you mentioned um, that, like, you, you ran some tests for a particle system on Headless to see, you know, how it performs with Net9 versus, you know, Mono that's in Unity. Uh, could you talk about that a little bit more? Oh yeah, sure. So um, I was I was with um, I was with my friend Ozzy um, in in uh, one of their worlds, and it's a it's this big like sandbox map. You can like teleport everywhere. There's a lot of like things in it. That the map is like a big you know it's like a typical you know mesh collider map. And um, we got to playing with the particle system, and you know we we realized that like it simulates on the headless too, since it's actually within like the engine now it actually simulates on the headless um so we we were like huh i wonder how i wonder how like dotnet 9 compares you know with the particle system and so we we made a simulation of about 4500 particles and we tested um without collisions on um the client was running at about two and a half ish milliseconds per frame of simulation of the particle systems and the the headless was running at about 230 microseconds um per frame so that's already pretty good then we turned on collisions uh and the headless you know the headless jumps up to like 7.2 seven and a half milliseconds or so per frame and then the client jumps up to 80 milliseconds per frame mm -hmm. uh so that's across the board over a 10 times improvement in uh the the simulation time of the particle system so if you were excited for dotnet 9 get a little bit more excited like there's i mean it's kind of like in line with like a lot of the kind of very early tests that i kind of did like you know a while back where um a lot of the mild heavy stuff like you know it would be some, somewhere around like 10 times faster with like modern dotnets compared to like mono and particle systems and one of those things is very heavy math based and it's also kind of written to you know take advantage of whatever like stuff in like modern net like it's using spans a lot to kind of access the buffers and so on and you know kind of looping over those and so it, it is very yeah. exciting you know just kind of see like how well it performs but the other thing I, the other thing i think that helps it is like you know with the collisions is the bepo physics because like right now bepo physics but like you know under mono it's kind of crippled a little bit like because is really worth it to take advantage, you know, of the more one. So, just having time, I think that makes the collision itself also like you know way faster. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Bepu and stuff is uh, it it relies on um, There's what are called channel. like yeah like vector intrinsics and stuff, um, which are they special instructions in your CPU that let you process multiple. Um, values of data at the same time in true parallel like actually even on a single core you can process you know like four or eight you know floating point numbers and stuff like at a time and bepu makes heavy use of that and that's why it's so fast yeah. but in mono we just don't have any of that it just doesn't know what to do with it yeah. it just like looks like it's naively I mean, it's also like one of the things you know people always like when, whenever it comes to performance people always like multi-threading multi-threading but there's like one thing I keep telling people, there's lots of ways you can improve performance, and oftentimes you want to look how can you improve performance 
on a single thread, like, you know, before you can get, like, the multi-threading. Because with multi-threading, you have, like, you know, more kind of synchronization you need to do and so on. And not all types will work very well. Uh, but our fluid particle system is one of those, you know, that takes advantage of both. Because it maximizes, you know, how much you do on a single core. Because on a single core, it processes multiple, you know, multiple values at the same time. But also we have multiple cores doing that, so you get, like, you know, you get, like, way more kind of out of that. So it's, yeah. like, very exciting. Like, I think, like, the modern net is also, like, good on, like, doing sort of auto-vectorization. So I think even some of the photon dust stuff, like, it just automatically, you know, gets, like, vectorized. Um, and that kind of Yeah, it. especially especially if you're using spans, because spans yeah. in more recent .NETs are very heavily incentivized for, like, vectorization when you do yes. optimize or op operations on them, rather, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons, like, like, um, like, for any, like, newer stuff, like, tend to use, like, a lot of span stuff. It's, like, just, like, way more performant. And, like, with the current, like, mono, like, we're not really, like, you know, we're not, like, fully, um, we're not really, like, what's the word? Um, we're not fully, like, you know, taking advantage of it, but it's kind of being done, you know, in preparation because we know we, we are making the move. Um... It's also like the other thing, like you know, with the particle system is, uh, um, actually, wait, I forget what I was gonna say with it. Um, I kind of forget. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I remember. So, like, one of the things we also can do once we do switch, you know, to the nine, we can actually also add, you know, custom vectorization. Use like you know, uh, the SMI, the intrinsics, you know, to add like extra even more performance because we cannot use those features right now because they're not available in mono so once we do make the switch we can squeeze out even more performance out of stuff yeah because because we use our we use kind of like our own implementation of stuff like vector 3 and vector 4 like flow 3 yeah. flow 4 and whatever it's in part because like the the actual vector is one like they're not really vector as a version of mono so like they're they're slow yeah and don't have everything we need no way it's, uh, it's very exciting.